Nobody here though, but the car is running. So, California. Unfortunately, there's this random road with a bunch of like easy camp spots on it that I thought would be empty because it's the winter, but there weren't. But there was a bunch of noobs pulled off the side of the road. We got there. Kind bar snarkies. So we're gonna go to another spot that's easy to get to. Um, but hot the furs. Uh, and see if that works out any better. Goodbye. Brad's gonna hold this one because there are a lot of campers out and I'm gonna continue down this little Ain't random bad. road. Ain't bad. It's the end of the road. Well, I explored around and there was nothing else. So, probably just you set up here. Point. I just like deep cleaned my wrap. Made it look okay. real good. But, now it's all muddy. Here's Brad, that's his normal voice if you're wondering. Hi, Ella. There you go. Be free. Be free. So we're here in a spot. Not the best spot, but it's not bad either. You know, not bad. There's kind of some views. Kind of some views and stuff. Uh, but where I was planning on going, which was super easy to get to, like super easy. Well, a Honda Accord can't get there, as you saw. But pretty easy to get to, uh, which means in Colorado, chances are people are camping there and every single, there's like 15 like pretty cool spots, all taken. So this is another like super random spot that I knew about, it's like very near the road. The road is like right up there. You might even be able to hear some road noise. But I've never seen an available spot in here, but I was like, oh, we'll just pull in because there's snow on the ground and stuff. And there's a spot available. So we're just gonna come, hang out, set up, and uh, yeah. Brad's making me a fancy dinner, I heard. Nope, nope, he only brought enough for himself. I'm gonna make a little, uh, like it's like a mountain house, but it's, uh, what is it, backpacker's pantry, I think? Pad Thai, so we'll do that here in a bit. This is Brad's Tacoma. I did a whole walk around of it actually, if you wanna see it. I'll try and remember to link to it in the top left corner. But it's a 2018 TRD off-road. So he has stuff that I don't have like, uh, what is it, adaptive cruise control? You have adaptive, right? Leather seats, back window is power. Look, there you are. I like that, I mean, I like those wheels. I like those wheels. I think they look good. Yeah, you're about due for some news. Some new news. Brad's all set up. This is a front runner. Rooftop tent, kind of the standard, you know, canvas cover style canvas here. But I think it has a pretty nice mattress. Oh, it's all the way over there. It's too far. So I'll set mine up. So here's the Sky Camp Mini. I think I can set it up one-handed without too much trouble here.
Come on. Yes. I'm trying to do it all one-handed. Everything. Nice. Nice, nice. Okay, that's pretty much it. Hi, little mini German Shepherd dog. So this is a dog Brad got at the same rescue that we got Maple. Actually, he got her like a month or two before we got Maple. So I grabbed my sleeping bag that I keep in my Land Cruiser, and it has a, it has the heated the heated blanket inside of it, and this. And then you know what I did because I'm by myself and I have all this extra room. I threw this in the back. <laughs> so I'm gonna be sleeping on like a six inch equivalent mattress. It's gonna be great. So back here, I have an ax and a shovel. And then I actually have like full recovery kit that I usually don't bring the full kit that's in there. Um, just cause we were going out in the snow. And I didn't know exactly where we were going. We we're just kind of making it up as we went along, so have that. Um, yeah, what else? My kit, like, you know, it's pretty similar to how it usually is. I got uh, inside of the Pelican, all my camera gear. I actually hooked up a GoPro to Brad's truck. And then I brought a big boy, Goal Zero Yeti uh, 1500, I think, or the 1400. Uh, what is it? 1500. I got some warm clothes, brought the power tank, didn't end up airing down at all anyway. Uh, and this, this is the new, well not new, new to me, Morflate. It's like a quad inflator deflator system. So that has hoses that you can hook up to all four of your tires at once and then just air up in one spot. So I've been wanting to try one out for a while, not airing up or down on this trip because literally the the highway's like right there. But I'll try it later. I'll try it later. All I brought on this trip was a jet boil and so this little jet boil, I think it's the flash. No, I don't know what it is. Oh no, it's the minimo, the minimo. And then just threw a little bit of food in here. So I have a bunch of these and I write the expiration dates big on them so I know when I should eat them. Even though they're probably good for way beyond that. So that way I have a big stash of these that I just kind of dig into once in a while. And I'm just by myself, I don't mind. I mean, I actually like the pad ties. So, sweet. And then I did, usually I just bring two max tracks, but in the snow, I'll try to toss four on there usually. Cause they're one of the main, one of the main tools I use for recovery in the snow. So the nice thing about the Diamondback and then added a little more weather stripping to the tailgate is the tailgate's kind of weatherproof. So I can throw stuff like a mattress or my sleeping bag or whatever back here and not really worry about it because it's got a gasket running the full perimeter which is nice. So Brad's one of my best friends for the last, I don't know, I guess like 15 years probably. We went to college together, roommates in college for a little while, and kind of always into the same things. So Tacomas and camping. But he's been a little wuss and hasn't been camping for a while. A while. So he was like, let's go out. So we just came out on a quick little trip because this is his dog's first time camping. First time out exploring. Well, I think he's taking her on some hikes and stuff, but. So we'll see how she does out here in the wild. Um, I would have brought like a Treyu, but a Treyu's still kind of recovering from his surgery. So I don't want him, usually I'll just let him run around cause I don't camp like near other people. But I didn't want him to run around too much. Sorry, I'm kind of pointing this camera around. So a Treyu, is at home. I was thinking about bringing Maple, but we took her on a little test run to the grocery store this morning and she puked. So it's easier to deal with that when there's two people. And since I'm out by myself, I didn't really want to deal with Maple puking all over my truck. So Maple and a tray are home with Ashley because Ashley doesn't really like to camp when it's going to be cold and or windy. And the forecast tonight calls for wind. 
So speaking of, I parked the iCamper where I think the wind is gonna be coming from, so the hard shell of it. Um, and that way it does a little bit better in the wind there. Okay, I'm gonna hang out a little bit and get my tent set up. Was talking to Brad about how we're getting soft these days. You should just like throw a tarp on the ground and sleep on it. And now I have a rooftop tent mattress, which, you know, it's nothing amazing. <laughs> I put another mattress on top of it. And then mummy bags are great uh, for backpacking and whatnot. And I mean, they're, they're great for keeping in body heat because you don't want all this extra space. But I like this huge, giant sleeping bag. This is a zero degree bag. And then again, I'm gonna, I got a little heated blanket. Because why not, right? Why not? <laughs> a little bit of, <laughs> little bit of fireball. Like that would. Brad's got a camping bin set up. I like it. He's a, uh, what is that? Your stuffed animal to sleep yeah, at night? I get scared. Got some string lights. See, Brad doesn't camp much. So he's like, when he camps, he's like, we gotta do it right. We gotta like pull the string lights out and get to it. I'm kind of, what's it called when you're just kind of glazed over to it all? I forget. Pathetic. Yeah, maybe pathetic. So now I just like do the bare minimum. I just set up. I should bring the magic back. Yeah. I actually would probably like it if I set up like little, little lights and stuff. So Brad's gonna set the mood. Brad's gonna set the mood for us. He's, he doesn't know it, but when he makes his beef fajitas, I'm gonna take a bite. But I'm gonna make my pad thai and I'm gonna love it. Seems like a lot of water. So we got the peanut butter and peanuts I dumped in there. Oh, let's see if we can get some focus in there. Oh yeah. Then we'll boil this water over here. Brad has some real food. But he didn't bring any tortillas. So not tortillas. But Oh, he's got a little bit of peanut butter whiskey. Ooh, two cups. This is a nice date. Well, I don't know if I showed you. Here's his little rooftop tent set up. Very nice. We got a chair out and everything. You're camping. We got over here Crocs. Got some Crocs. Actually, these are my, these are my cold weather Crocs. These uh, lacrosse clog type things. So let's see if we got any boil yet. Not quite. So then this is like, you know, mountain house. Pad Thai. It's actually good. I like it. So we'll be good. I didn't bring a long spoon though, cause I was dumb. So I'll probably cut the bag a little bit. So it cooks for about 20 minutes in there. So I don't have those fancy lights. I do have these, my side camping lights here, which is nice on both sides. Um, so these are KCC2s that I put amber filters on. And then with the Switch Pro in here, I can actually adjust the dimness level, so if I hold it, I don't know if you'll be able to tell. Bright, dimmer, dimmest. It's kind of nice. All right, got a nice boil going. I'm gonna dump that water into the bag. I didn't bring a tripod, let's see if we can do this. Prop you up. Yeah. 
So then it just cooks in the bag for like 20 minutes. And the nice thing that I like about this kind of stuff when I'm camping in cold weather is this really nice big hand warmers. Which is kind of good because I like to kind of knead it around. You're supposed to kind of stir it halfway through, but usually I just kind of squeeze it. You're basically wanting to make sure the water gets to all of the dried parts. So that way you don't go in for like a dry bite later. So yeah, we'll let that sit for like 20 minutes. I think Brad's done over here. He's about to dig into his steak. We got our pee bottles ready, Powerade. So drink those and then that trick, I've talked about it before is drink it <laughs> you bring a, a bottle, preferably a bigger one, right? Into the tent with you. And girls can't do this as easy as guys can without a special device. But if you wake up, you know, at 3 a.m. and you have to pee, which only happens to me when I'm camping for whatever reason, and you don't want to leave the comfort of your tent, you just pee in the bottle. Like a little piece. There we go. Mm. How's your dinner? Is it yummy? So here it is. Usually, these things recommended water is almost always too much water. So I put a little less water, but still I put a little too much water in here. But, you know, it's still satisfying. All right, well, we're done hanging out. I am in the tent now, uh, in the Sky Camp Mini. Partially in my sleeping blanket, sleeping bag. And I have the nice warm blanket hooked up to the Goal Zero. This is the Yeti 1500X. And then I usually just wear my clothes. That makes it easier. Wearing clothes to bed makes it easier to get out in the morning because I like have an insulated layer with me. So I usually do that. And then I toss my jacket in here. It's just in the sleeping bag with me. So that way I don't put on a cold jacket in the morning. Simple little things. I got my pee bottle, got some water, keys, Got a snack in case I need a snack in the middle of the night. And then I just have my carry gun there by me as well. So that's it. I'm gonna go to bed and I'll catch you guys in the morning. See ya. The longer I waited, the more that I've tried, all the years that I've Trying to find it All that I go through For my peace of mind Let it all go Out the window It's all frozen Smoke in my eyes I can hear the wind it's always been new in the back of my mind. Brad's got his vertex shell. I forget what that one's called. Recon, maybe? I have no idea. You eggs? Eat six eggs? Yeah. Dang, dog. I mean, that's. Six eggs? That's like barely enough for me. You're gonna have a heart attack. This is breakfast number one. Hi, Ella. Sit. Good girl. All right, so I just bought one of these little maple French toast cups. So that's what we'll do. And then I talk about this from time to time, but for those that are new, usually, uh, I know, I think the eye campers now you can get like condensation mats for underneath. Oh, actually, there's nothing going on under here. Uh, a lot of times rooftop tents will get condensation underneath, so I'll usually lift my mattresses up and just like shove the sleeping bag under so they can get some air under to dry them out. Yeah, so it was, you know, pretty cold last night, but not too bad. It wasn't too bad. 
Um, I did eat my beef jerky. So I'm gonna grab that and probably start heating up some water. So I've had a lot of people ask about this here. So this is a hood panel from Cascadia 4x4. So it runs, has a little charge controller, and it's hooked up to my battery. So like right now, when I'm getting good sun, it's just charging my house battery, my main, like my only battery, starter, everything, one battery system here. It charges it up. So last night it was down to like 11.9 or whatever. It's gonna be impossible to read, but I have a little voltmeter USB charger there, and it's 12.4 uh, now. So I don't use it for anything fancy other than char charging my only battery on the truck. Uh, so that way when I run lights, like camp lights all night or whatever, uh, it, you know, drains the battery a tiny little bit. So then I'm never really worried about my battery being dead if there's sun. You know, I have a battery starter, so I'm never really worried about it, but if I can charge it back up, just sitting here, that's nice. So I ate my little maple breakfast, and then I did bring one of these from a little Costco protein shake, but it was frozen too, so I'm trying to, <laughs> I'm trying to thaw all my stuff out here on the hood. So what, Brad, that coffee went right through you? When a man walks away from the campsite with a shovel and a wad of toilet paper, you know something's going down. Where is your dad going? She's a good dog. You did it. So as always, as we're packing up, kinda just check out what we got going on for trash. There isn't actually much trash around this campsite, so that's nice. But try to obviously pick up your trash and then go a little extra step further and pick up other people's trash. So we can keep places clean, keep them not shut down. And yeah, we're all loaded up, ready to roll. Hey, there's Eric, ready to go? Yeah, dude. So Brad's a, a ham guy as well. So we'll usually just be talking on the road. And I definitely recommend getting invested in a ham radio or a GMRS or a CB or just you know little Costco handhelds because being able to chat when you're driving around or just say, hey, I'm gonna pull in here and check this out, or hey, stay here, I'm gonna you know keep this camp spot and I'm gonna go ahead and try and find another one a mile down the road makes it a lot more fun and efficient. And also, for instance, when we were pulling out that guy, Brad was ahead, and so we were kind of communicating, like, oh, you want to roll your window down and check if this guy's all right, or whatever. So I didn't, like, drive all the way down. So yeah, calm.
I'm back home now, been home for a while. Actually was doing some, adding some stuff to the Polaris General and just taking care of some stuff while I still had some daylight. But I hope you enjoyed that little trip. Uh, as always, I'll link to stuff down below. Uh, the stuff that I used in this video, if you're interested, clicking those links does help support the channel, so I always appreciate it. But I wanted to give you a quick update of sorts beyond the trip we just did with the taco. Uh, if you stuck around this far in the video, congratulations, I'll give you a little bonus. So here's the general, quick little update. Um, installed the hood racks. Uh, it's not quite, this thing isn't quite lining up, so I need to mess around with that a little bit. I got some synthetic winch line and a fa Factor 55 Ultra Hook for that. Uh, seismic mirrors, these are illuminated mirrors. Um, did put in the glass windshield. This is just a Polaris accessory and this is a Polaris accessory. These are from Seismic. And I got some sliders on the way. Got some window panels, rear windshield. I got the plow kit. I got the heater kit. And then I got this, which is from Razorback Off-Road. So it's a bed rack with a little storage box in the top. And I actually got the model that has the swing out, like tailgate, but I didn't install the tailgate yet. So they have a model that has the tailgate and that doesn't have the tailgate. And this is basically what the non-tailgate model is. So I got little mounts that'll go in here for roto packs or max tracks or shovel or whatever. So I have to install that. But yeah, it's kind of just a cool little thing for the bed. Uh, they actually sell this product as well, which is a little heat shield pad if you want to put dogs back here. And this is part of the reason I got this was because maybe I'll throw my dogs back there. I'm not sure yet, but also just to mount some stuff. So that's the bed rack, which kind of, you know, brings this thing together. It's starting to look pretty cool, honestly. So there's that. And then another cool thing is this guy here. This is the Tremor F250. So this thing is huge. Look at this thing compared to that. Huge. So this, I'll do a video on soon introducing it, what I'm doing to it. This is the project that I'm doing with Diamondback, actually. So more info on this very, very soon, but be stoked. Hey, Mapes. All right, guys, well, that is, that is it. I hope you enjoyed uh, that little trip. Been having a good time here. Been super, 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 busy. But I'm trying to crank out videos as much as possible. So hope you enjoy them. As always, hit that thumbs up. If you did, leave a comment down below. Think about getting subscribed if you liked it. And I always like hearing from you. So leave comments down below what you liked, what you hated, what you want to see. And until next time, guys, take care.